Hello everyone, the Mr. Trails here, and today I would like to talk about something that I would really like to see for the game of Dauntless. This isn't something we'd be seeing from the live version of the game, rather this would be a way to not play the live version of the game. And this would be some sort of offline installation system, where you would be able to play without having to be connected to the internet, which is something that the genre counterpart Monster Hunter has pretty much always had. In fact, this is one of the distinct advantages of owning Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter Rise you can take on the go wherever you go because it's on the Nintendo Switch. And Monster Hunter Rise actually performs pretty well on the Switch given that it was built for the platform, whereas Dauntless on Switch is a bit of an afterthought and you have to be connected to the internet for it to work. This doesn't seem like it would be incredibly difficult to pull off either. Basically you'd just be skipping a step where the game is checking for updates and internet connectivity and putting yourself into Ramsgate without having to join an already created lobby. And it would also of course make sense for Dauntless Trial leaderboards to be disabled in an offline version, since you wouldn't be sending that gameplay data to Phoenix Labs. But it also wouldn't necessarily just have to stop at an offline version. Even with the numerous amounts of iterations of Dauntless, I do believe that the game files for those previous updates are still available to the devs at Phoenix Labs. Because I highly doubt that they're just throwing the old update files away, especially the larger updates, such as the Umbral Escalation release, the Blaze Escalation release, so on. So it'd be amazing if not only could we get offline versions of the game, but also previous versions of the game. How cool would it be for us to go back to pre-reforged days, pre-omnicell days, things like that? Or even cooler, go back to alpha or beta versions of the game. Probably the main hurdle to this sort of thing being possible would be, is it going to be hosted on the Epic Games launcher? Because technically I believe the main reason we're on Epic Games is for the full cross-platform play, but I don't know if that means you can't have an offline game mode where we aren't on the Epic Games platform. I think they could technically put the older updates as a DLC add-on, whether that be for free or honestly, I wouldn't mind paying for this sort of a thing. But I think then there might be an issue of what add-ons do I have active? I don't know if you can outright control those on the Epic Games launcher. It is already possible to play older versions of a game from the Epic Games store. Like when I was doing the Outer Worlds speedruns, we were playing on an older version of the game, which would still boot through the Epic Games store because it needed to for whatever reason, but it would bypass that whole checking for updates type thing. But we already do have a sort of reference for what this sort of thing could look like, and that's with Minecraft. Minecraft has multiple versions, the main two being Bedrock and Java Edition. Bedrock is the version on consoles as well as the Minecraft for Windows from like the Windows Store. And the Bedrock version is where you are able to cross-platform play between other systems and PC. But the Java Edition has its own launcher, and with this launcher's functionality, you are are able to install pretty much any update of the game that you want. Right now in 2022, if you wanted your Minecraft experience to be the first official Minecraft experience, then you could download Java Edition and then you could install the 1.0 update, which came out over 10 years ago now. And aside from maybe some sort of contract thing with Epic Games, I don't see why it wouldn't be possible for Dauntless to have this same sort of thing. As long as my assumption is correct that they do have these previous versions of the game still backed up somewhere somewhere at Phoenix Labs. But offline versions would not only allow us to play without internet connection or play previous versions of the games, but it would allow access for mods to come along. They would just need some sort of system to make sure that people aren't using mods on the online version of the game. This isn't something that I would put a deadline on or anything, but if the live servers are ever in question of getting discontinued, then having some offline versions, some way to still play Dauntless after that were to happen, then that would be better beneficial. But that's basically going to be it for this video, guys. If you could go back to one version of Dauntless, let me know which one it would be in the comments. I think for me, something pre-Reforge, where we still have like Scar and Tenacious available, we still have the Lantern boosts from Escalations, stuff like that. Or going back to before Umbral Escalation, where we still had Old Sword. But drop a like for me, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We are on the road to 40k. Maybe we'll get there before the end of this year. That'll be it from me. I have been Trevor. I go by the Mr. Trails, and I will catch you guys next time.